It's Sunday, the 6th of November, and some very unusual news out of western Nevada County, just 12 miles from the Blanco Lirio Global World Headquarters. Apparently, a meteorite has struck a house and burned it to the ground. The owner is okay. He did lose one of his two dogs in the fire. Let's check this out. And according to eyewitness reports, I believe that this is the case, that a meteorite did strike this house. My name's Juan Brown, you're watching the Blanco Lirio channel, and this particular meteorite landed right here in western Nevada County near the Inglebright Lake area, just west of where we live here in Nevada City. This meteorite created a huge fireball over the skies of Northern California Friday evening and were captured on several dash cam videos. Some of these videos were shot as far north, or the eyewitness reports were as far north as Redding, California, and others down towards Sacramento and Folsom, California. Here's a different dash cam video. And then there's this video on Facebook from Evita Nieves, where they saw the fireball land very close to them, and so they fired up their recorder camera and drove to where they think the fireball landed and they ended up at the house that was on fire. Now I'm gonna turn the volume off because the language is pretty bad on here, but I'll, I'll send you the original link to it. So they drive for about three minutes or so. They saw the fireball impact the ground. And sure enough, they found it right here at the house on fire. And then they jump it and then they jump out of their truck and witness the house on fire and they claim that they saw multiple meteors coming down at about the same time. Which is not uncommon as often these meteors explode into multiple fragments as they come ripping through the atmosphere. Now here's my friend and Blanco Lirio viewer, Josh Miller from the captain from the Penn Valley Fire Department who responded to the fire. And he said he got multiple reports from folks from witnesses indicating that they witnessed the meteor meteorite falling in the vicinity of this house he wasn't quite sure what to make of it at first as they were just working on putting out the fire but they will be investigating it further to see if they can determine the cause of the fire at this house now it's believed that this meteorite is part of the torrid meteor meteor shower which is going on right now these meteors tend to appear to radiate from the constellation of taurus near the pleiades and they do often result in amazingly huge fireballs in our atmosphere. Now here's a good high definition camera shot of what these fireballs can look like. This was shot in July of uh, 2022 uh, in New Zealand. It's extremely rare for a meteorite to start a fire on the ground. But there's a lot of great information here from the American Meteor Society that can help us better understand what happened here. First, you got your definitions. The meteor shower versus the meteor is the light emitted from a meteoroid or an asteroid as it enters the atmosphere. A fireball is when a meteor produces a ball of light that is brighter than the planet Venus in the night sky. A bolide is a light emitted by a large meteoroid or an, atmosphere, or an asteroid as it explodes in the atmosphere. And I believe that's what we witnessed on this particular fireball. I think it blew up into a bolide. And then, of course, the meteorite is the fragment of the meteoroid or asteroid that survives passage from the atmosphere once it hits the ground. So you don't get hit by a meteor. You get hit by a meteorite. So typically, these meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere and they're traveling at an incredible rate of speed over 9,000 miles per hour and they've got to decelerate from 9,000 miles per hour or more 
to a terminal velocity in the atmosphere of about 200 to 400 miles per hour. During that process, of course, that's when they heat up and create these fireballs. But typically, these fireballs heat up and then extinguish themselves. And then by the time they hit the ground, usually the meteorite they believe is already at ambient temperature. But this particular fireball lit up so big and so bright, so close to the ground, that they're suspecting that that's what caused this fire of this house. Or did this meteorite strike something in the house that caused the, the house fire to start? The other thing I wondered about is what about the sound this makes? This has got to make a, a, a sonic boom as it as it transitions through supersonic flight to subsonic flight. But this this transition usually happens high enough or far enough away to where the sound any sound of a sonic boom would happen long after the object has struck the Earth. And these guys say you've got to wait as long as a minute and a half to four minutes after the object hits the Earth before you might even hear a sonic boom. And here's where they talk about how hot is the object once it hits the ground. The ablation process, which occurs over the majority of the meteorite's path, ablation, of course, is when it scrubs material off as it rips through the atmosphere, is a very efficient heat removal method and was effectively copied for use during the early manned space flights for re-entry into the atmosphere. During the final free fall portion of their flight, meteorites undergo very little frictional heating and probably reach the ground at only slightly above ambient temperature. But they don't really know because it's so hard to find one and measure the temperature as soon as it lands. Now, one of the first things I thought of is, man, if you could find the meteorite itself, you could sell it. It should be of a, worth a certain amount of value. But looking it up here in uh, geology.com, it looks like meteorite specimens go from anywhere from 50 cents per gram to $2 or so per gram. But if it's a known meteorite that was witnessed to impact the ground, that increases the value of the meteorite as a find. So just like a scene from a science fiction movie, a very unusual scene here in western Nevada County, uh, Friday night. And as a pilot, I've often wondered, what are the chances of it striking an airplane in flight? This could be catastrophic if it were to hit an airliner uh, while underway, but I haven't heard of any stories of that ever happening so the owner is lucky that he got out of this house without injury he did lose a dog in in the uh, fire here and of course all of his belongings as well he started a gofundme page here i'll supply the link to thanks so much for your support of this channel especially the folks over on patreon that make this content possible see you here <music>